wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light first time you are seeing us. I'm Nicole and that is Miko and we are currently on a road trip around Sri Lanka with the goal of showing you just how incredible and beautiful this country is. In today's video we are going to be going along the coast and enjoying the beaches for one last time before we head inland to the more mountainous regions of Sri Lanka. If you've been watching the last couple of videos you'll know that we cannot leave Marissa without having one final visit with someone very special to us. So we couldn't leave Marissa without one final goodbye present for our girl. Make sure you watch our last video if you want to know more about the history. We won't dive into it again because we've done it a lot, but yeah, we wanted to make sure she was fine and healthy and okay and leave her with a nice present before we leave her again. Bye. Bye bye. So sad to leave her. But you know what? She's in good hands. She has her own home. She's well fed. I think she'll be good. Now we've got more Sri Lanka to see. So by the way, the plan for today and tomorrow is we're going to be traveling from Marissa, where we just were today, and heading over to Ella. The reason we're doing it over two days, it's only about 175 kilometers total, and that might not sound like a lot, but with the little scooter, Wanda, our scooter here, and all our stuff, it actually just takes us a really long time to get places, and it's not like super comfortable for longer than like four or so hours a day, five hours. We can start to get pretty sore, and we seem to go about 30 or 40 kilometers an hour at most here. So it's gonna take us most of the day today, and then again most of the day tomorrow to make it there. Sheesh, man. Police almost killed us. Holy smokes. <laughs> Oh, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> a little tight for my liking, for sure. Holy smokes. That was best for luck and please, everybody. Nice job, though, huh? Nice job. We just passed the town of Dequela, and uh, in this town there's a really nice uh, beach nearby called Hirikeria. I think we found it. Oh, well, I found foreigners. Definitely so. found foreigners, so that means we're getting close. Uh, it's a nice, like, picturesque little beach, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'd love to stay for lunch, but we actually got here a lot sooner than we expected. So. Yeah, we're making good time. I think we'll just maybe check out the beach and show you guys around and then get moving. Yeah. Isn't this one of the most inviting beaches you've ever seen? Like, look how beautiful this setting is. A tiny little kind of cove, like a little inlet. You got nice sand going into the like, turquoise blue water. You got palm trees on either side. People surfing in the middle. You could probably just spend all day here, hanging out, relaxing in the loungers, getting some nice food, or going out surfing, or just jumping in the water. Like, it's so beautiful. Oh, man. I do wish we could stay, but with all our stuff on the bike, I feel like I can't even go that far along the beach. I'm so scared <laughs> to leave all our stuff on the bike. But this is stunning. If you want to learn surfing, I really think this is one of the best spots. Like the waves look really good. Like maybe that's just today, but honestly they look like good enough to actually get some surfing practice in, but not so much like so wild that you're gonna have a hard time. It's beautiful. So 
we've been driving for a little while now eastwards along the south coast and the road is kind of veering away from the from the coastline. Can't really see the beaches anymore. Mm. And I gotta say, things have changed dramatically. There's also a lot less tourists around. <laughs> I feel like we're like really getting into like the rural parts of Sri Lanka. Really getting to witness a lot of the local life and the farm life. And then of course like this isn't really like palm trees and beaches anymore. It's more just like farmers' fields and plains. It seems like. And palm trees. <laughs> That's true. Lots of palm trees. Palm trees are always there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we managed to get around 70 kilometers under our belt so far, but we are getting awfully hungry. So it is time to uh, try and find a lunch spot. Although we're finding that to be a little bit more challenging now that it's quite rural and there's not too much around like people's houses and their farmland that's what we're seeing so I think they might be open. So I found a place to stop for lunch. Turns out they do not serve typical Sri Lankan food but they do happen to serve each of my favorite meal which is pizza for me and chicken fried rice for Miko. <laughs> So we're gonna chow down on enough food for like a whole family. I'm thinking maybe we have dinner here too. I think we have dinner here. Yeah, this is a lot of food. <laughs> Lucky Street Dog will get some nice pizza and chicken fried rice. <laughs> and then we have no dinner. Now what's up? Okay, I know 115 kilometers does not sound like a lot, but somehow it's been six and a half hours since we left Marissa. We are beat. I think we are just gonna call it in for the day, do some editing, relax, and then uh, continue this journey on tomorrow. See you there. Good morning, everyone. We are rested and ready for another big day of driving. I think we've got about 85 kilometers to do today. We spent last night in a place called Tissa Mahanama, which is commonly referred to just as Tissa here. Something that like most people do when they're in Tissa is actually go to a national park here called Dala National Park. It's really well known because uh, that's where you can see leopards here in Sri Lanka. We are not doing that and we've actually never done that. And the reason is because uh, we really think that the government should be limiting the number of people who go to this national park um, on a daily basis because it can be really, really overrun with visitors, with tourists. And then unfortunately as a result, it really looks like it impacts like the animals, um, just like their general ability to live out there. If they ever put regulations in limiting the number of people who go, then I mean, we would love to visit. But for now, we got about 85 kilometers ahead of us. Beautiful open road, the sun is shining. It looks like a beautiful day. Say goodbye to the beaches, yeah. but say hello to green, rolling hills and, so and more farmland. It's so gorgeous out here. It also is less humid and a little less warm already, which actually feels wonderful. Yeah, it is a little bit nice. I just love watching the local farmers though. It looks like really hard work. Looks really hard work, like really hard work. Yeah. Really hard. Watching is all I'd, uh, as much as I'd like to. Yeah, I agree. Get myself involved in. So we're in Wellawaya now, which is like one of the, I guess kind of towns north of Tissa Mahara. Yeah, Tissa Maharama, <laughs> where, we does, where we started this morning. It's really hard to say that word. It's very long. We have lots of cool, funky town names here in, in Sri Lanka. Tissa Maharama, Wellawaya, Hikadua. I like it. I like it. Um, but it's one of the major towns. And then after here, we're going to head deeper into the mountains or hills and 
uh, yeah, show you more of that. Show me more of the beautiful landscapes of Sri Lanka from there. This is uh, the fastest we can go right now. I have bottomed out the throttle. <laughs> we are starting to now climb the hills of Sri Lanka. Uh -huh. And uh, our bike is well aware that we're starting to climb the hills of Sri Lanka. And now we've got a lot of weight with us. Both of us class our bags. It's not great. No. We're not even going 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> oh boy. Play a little bit of flat feet. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, foreigners. That's the first time we've seen foreigners since we left the coast. We left uh, Hinkadua Beach yesterday. No, Hirakadia. I mean, Hirakadia Beach yesterday. But that, uh, we'll see lots in Ella. I just think most people don't like drive themselves there, so we don't see a lot on the road. But... Oh boy. Come on, bike. Come on, Wanda. Grab this girl. I have 20 kilometers of this, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you just like hear her like winding down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We got this, Wanda. Come Yo! on, girl. Woo, woo, woo. You did yeah. it. You got a flat spot. Wow, look at this. We're getting pretty high on these hills. Oh man, it's so beautiful. The hills. Well, Wanda might be having a tough time getting up these hills, but man, they are so gorgeous. Like, I just some days can't get over how green Sri Lanka is. Like, it's just so stunning. Just looks like rolling hills covered in so much vegetation. It's also like a paradise for somebody who loves like winding turns on a scooter or a motorcycle. There's just so many picturesque like uh, viewing points and it's just like so calming and peaceful to just drive around wander with Wanda. <laughs> also this is actually a huge part of the reason that we did not get a tuk-tuk. So you might think a tuk-tuk would do better on these hills but actually they do so much worse because it's basically just a scooter with like a casing around it. And so they're very heavy, so they actually are really, really slow. That's a very steep hill. That <laughs> scared me a lot. <laughs> All right, well, can you get up with a? Can you get up now, though? <laughs> so as you guys can see, Ella is very hilly. We had to just pop off the main road now because we are at the road that, that leads to our accommodation. But uh, it is a very steep road. <laughs> but hey, this is probably the only time we will be coming up this road with all of our gear and the two of us. So hopefully after this it'll be fine. Oh, that turn came up a lot faster than I thought Me it did. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, let's just do it. <laughs> Here we go. We won't be able to show you where we're staying in this episode, but we promise in the next video, we'll give you the full tour. It's an incredible place run by an incredible family. So we will definitely share it with you guys. All right, well, that's a wrap on our two day journey from Marissa to Ella. We hope you enjoyed traveling with us. Thank you so much for coming along with us. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you click subscribe. Over the next couple of days, we are gonna be exploring this incredible place, Ella, and we can't wait to share it with you. Thanks for watching. I think I might walk a little and then turn to you when I say when to call Miko. So just be doing your thing. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. If this is the first time you're seeing us. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. If this is the first time you're seeing us, I am Nicole. And that's really loud. Incredible this country is and how beautiful and wonderful. Why can't I get that? As we are on our bike. Wanda today, we are gonna be. Drop that strap one more time, boo. <laughs>